Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. The PC Engine CD Core was released yesterday and uh, I'm having a blast playing some of the games on there. So there are limitations to the core. Uh, one thing that we found out was a, a maximum of 27 bin files uh, is, is the type of games that will run. So if you've got more than 27 bin files, they will not run. Now, a, a lot of you guys in, in the YouTube comments over on Twitter, on Reddit, there's been a lot of conversation and talk about it. And you guys have, have taught me some stuff. And one of the things that was pointed out there was uh, CD Mage use this to convert multiple bins into a single bin file. Now, just understand that best compatibility is for games with 27 bin files or less. If you convert multiple uh, bin files into a single file you are going to run into issues Th this is known so there's you know if you've got any questions about that then then don't ask because it is a known issue now if the game is 27 bin files or less then just use it the normal way and do it so this this would only be for something with more than 27 bin files for example uh, bubble bubble here uh, a game oh, sorry not bubble bubble this i'm reading the story of bubble bubble to rainbow islands honestly i absolutely love this game played it on the amiga uh really that's where i mainly played it and i, and I love this game and i played it on the pc engine cd over on the mister and i kind of want to get it on the mister so i thought let's try it so it's got 32 uh tracks okay so anyway let's let's begin this process so first thing we want to do i'll leave this link in the description for cd mage let's go over to cd mage and let's go over to download uh here we go let's download this one here the beta the 1.02.1 beta so as soon as we click that bang here we go it's here now what you can do is first of all i always recommend scanning it i know uh, chrome scans it and windows scans it but you know what i i scan it nonetheless uh and then once uh once you've got it scanned and everything choose where you want to ex uh, where you want to extract it to i've already extracted it to my desktop so let's close this window and here we go so i've got it i've got it extracted and open already because i guess i've done some uh, setting up uh for this video here we go so we've got this one over here now you can obviously open a file but hey i'm a lazy guy so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the rainbow islands folder you've got all the bin files here uh, what we want is we want the Q file. So I'm just going to drag and drop it because you can do that. Or you can go to file, open and, and pick the location. And there you go. It'll take a little bit of time to kind of read everything. But you've got everything in here. Uh, now this also works for any 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 other bin files that you're converting. I know for the for the PlayStation, the PlayStation 1, um, the, the, the games are, are in the same kind of format where they're bin and Q files. If you want to convert multiples into a single one to use on something uh, that isn't going to kind of read multiple bins or work with multiple bins, and you can use that for PlayStation as well. This process isn't limited to the PC Engine CD games, but this is the main purpose of this video and that's why i'm i'm using it for this so anyway once we've done that let's go ahead to file and go save as okay so what we're going to do i'm just going to step out one and i'm just going to make a new folder to keep everything tidy let's give that folder a name and let's just call that single okay so right oops sorry not single single <laughs> cool uh, I guess my, my typing is as bad as my speech. Right, so let's, let's, uh, let's, okay, let's open up folder and let's go ahead and save that in there. Here you go, it's doing its work down there. Okay, Rob, quick, I have to say. Let's go over. So now when we open uh, this one here, the new folder that we created, okay, so instead of 32 bin files, we've only got one bin file and we've got one Q file. So now, let's uh, let's put this oh let's put this on our analog pocket so let's copy this okay and here you go this is my analog pocket micro sd card so this is the same one if you watched yesterday's tutorial this is what i was working on so let's go into common and let's just copy in it should be quick here we go let's copy in uh, rainbow islands our, our single uh, our single bin file version okay so once we have done that let's go Let's go back to the root. And what we want to do is we want to run uh, the pocket updater. I'm still using Matt Panella's one. I, I find it I find it really good. Uh, again, I, I don't 
necessarily have a preference i like retro driven's one i like pocket sinks one but i've been using matt panella's ones recently and we're going to stick to that because we used that in the previous video as well so if you followed the previous tutorial then you should have this uh exe on there as well if not then just watch the video before this one uh, if you go to my most recent videos and and you know you can get a full rundown of what we did yesterday so let's just launch this up okay let's bring this over to a window okay so we don't need this open anymore so let's let's allocate the space to to here okay now we are good okay so now now that we're here let's just click in now okay so what we want to do again let's select calls because i don't want to do a big massive download so let's just go ask we're gonna go no 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 okay let's get the mazamar stuff showing up amiga no neo geo overdrive no and pc engine cd yes and let's just hold down n and we're going to get a whole bunch of n's at the bottom which i'm now going to get rid of okay let's press enter and with any joy let's uh where's our oh okay you know what while while that's going ahead let's just go here pc engine cd and let's just see when that uh generates so let's go to oops no 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 didn't press two okay so let's go to update tool which is zero okay here we go now okay we should be get, getting at the bottom here we go rainbow islands uh, like we showed yesterday it has created the json and it's now with a single bin file so i guess the next thing to do is let's head over to our analog pocket and let's try it out uh, i'm probably going to be quiet while the game's running i'm going to play the sound because one thing i, I understand uh there's issues with the sound sync so the sound's probably going to go out but i wanted to try it anyway because i really like rainbow islands i wanted to try uh, i wanted to play it and if you guys use this your, your mileage is going to vary you are going to have issues so please no questions about oh how the sound is off or this is off this is this is not something that's known to work uh, it might be something that works in the future in updates of this core but for now it's not working but if, if it is resolved in the future hey at least you know how to turn multi-bin files into a single bin file and uh, you can play some games that you're not able to play or not able to play well now anyway i'll stop going on let's uh let's go and have a look at rainbow islands in particular pay attention to the sound let's see if it if it goes out of sync okay guys before uh, i blast the volume up so we can hear it uh yeah the sound did go out of sync in particular i noticed it at the end of the levels also uh when i got onto the boss fight you can see the sound kind of completely stopped and um the picture went out a little bit as well like the bottom just kind of missed so yeah let me put on the volume now and uh let's go through this and have a look
okay guys so that kind of wraps it up for the video i hope you found this video helpful um, as you saw there there was issues with the sound and at one point at one point the bottom of the screen was missing so uh, just in my experience i don't know if it's worth it or not i am going to play about with it a little a little bit more because i really do like rainbow islands and, and i want to play it so um we, i did find when i paused the game uh, the sound stopped uh, until like you know the game over screen showed up um, so the screen got chopped off at the middle uh, now after the game over screen once it went back to the title screen the screen was in the correct place and everything so guys that's it I really do hope you found this helpful remember this uh, what you what you saw today or what you learned today isn't exclusive to PC Engine files it's just how to turn multiple bin files into a single bin file so you can apply this to the playstation is what comes to mind easily but it's probably helpful in other things as well um so yeah if you enjoy the content then a subscription and a like is super appreciated either way guys i'll see you around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out